back to another video guys. It's a very sunny day in the United Kingdom. Unfortunately most people are stuck indoors due to COVID-19 going around. Everyone has to isolate. However today I'm just going to spend a little time out the, outdoors on my drive and um, catch a bit of vitamin D from the sun. But uh, on today's little install we have the MJC silicone heat hoses that I'll be installing to the IS. It'll give a nice different contrast to the engine bay and also replace some of the old worn out hoses that are deteriorating. Right, so these are most of the hoses that are included in the kit. They are very strong and sturdy and the shape of them is very nice. They do fit very well to the stock hoses that are currently on. For example, this one right here. Same size and everything, but more durable, long lasting and obviously it gives that nice look to the engine bay. I would like if uh, there were some instructions included of where some of the hoses went, like for example, I have no idea where this one goes, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. So it's fairly straightforward. The only major problem with doing this is obviously the engine's already got um, fuel going through it. We've got radiator fluid. Um, so we'll have to drain, either drain that or clamp off the hoses and replace them as quick as possible. But we'll get started with that. Alrighty, so unfortunately, the hardest part about this is draining the system, in my opinion. So, I've currently got the coolant draining now. Not too fast, just ever so slightly. I don't want to make a mess because I do want to reuse that coolant. It was re recently flushed and uh, refilled uh, late last year. So, just gonna wait for that and uh, then start on the hoses. I'll be doing this one first, fairly straightforward, undo your two clamps and then replace it with the uh, other hose which should be here, there it is, that's the one, um, and what's really good is within the kit it comes with all your, banj your banjo clamps and what have you not, so you have plenty in there to secure around your hoses. Right, I've jumped a few steps but essentially what I've done put the new hose on with the cl clamps looking very nice and lean I'm impressed already uh, the second one fairly simple as well unhook it from there down there and just replace it again um, I did notice it is a bit too thick for the connectors the clips that goes into the previous ones so I just kind of forced it in it should be fine but we'll see how it goes but it still works Next is the coolant one for the drain if it overfills. That one's very simple, just pop it off there and it just follow these clips all the way down. As you can see, that one is here. There we are. So essentially you'll replace it with this one on this end. Okay. Next one. You have this big jumbo here. Now, because your car should be already drained of fluid, nothing should come out. A little bit will. So right at the bottom, on the radiator, right here where my fingers are, there's a clamp. Here it is. So this is a clamp. Squeeze it with the pliers on both ends and it will unloose. Um, I've done this without taking any trays off of the bottom or anything, so if I can do it, I'm sure you guys can. It saves a lot of work anyway. So I popped it off. That's completely off now. Same again on this side, just squeeze it down. That connects to your thermostat, which is right here. Um, this would be a good time to change your thermostat if you do need to change it as well. Um, you can also inspect it, just unloose these two bolts here, one there, one there, pop it out and then you can inspect it if, it, if all the grommets are in place and what have you not. So the next one for that would be this big one here. Simple again, just replace it. You put your two clamps on either end, back on. All right, so this is where you should be at the moment. Four complete hoses. Same again issue with these hoses being more thicker than the previous ones um, to go back into their, their bracket. But this is only a little overflow, so it doesn't matter if it's kinked too much, but at least it's fitted. So that's them two there and the other two. Now I think we're going to try and tackle the heater matrix. 
So after battling for like half an hour, I managed to get two uh, matrix heater hoses off. Uh, but I did connect them back again because I decided whilst I'm at it, I might as well flush the heater matrix. Um, and what this does, it'll just aid in clearing out all the debris and build up that's been collected over the years and it'll help your, uh, your heater gain its full potential again. So essentially what I've done, I've just connected two garden hoses onto the end of each of the matrix. Now these clamps are a pain in the butt, could not get them off like very easily, especially this one here which is it's a bit awkward to get to that one but that's the reason why it took so long. Um, so essentially what I've done, I've connected one to a water supply. Um, I'm not going to put it on too powerful because obviously the heat matrix is not that strong. Um, so just a little bit of pressure will do and the other one will just drain into this, this drain here but uh, I've used a I've got this collection bulb just to see how much debris is coming out looks fairly clear to be fair I'll turn the pressure up a little bit there we are so I can see it's clearing out some of the old um, antifreeze that was in there so this is a full proper flush as you can see there's some debris as well floating around after I've done this once it's running clear for a bit I'll switch the heater matrix around so I can be so I can flush it the other way as well all right we're switched around we're just gonna do the same thing again Seems fairly clear now, it's running clear. Now we've just had some debris spat out then. Alright, heater hose matrix connected. And oh wow, what a mission. To be honest, these hoses are a bit too small for the connectors. I just had to put some WD-40 and just try and slide them on as much as I can. They're very, very hard to get on. And the clamps that were supplied, these are too small. I only managed to somehow get one of them on, but the other three, I, I can't. But to be honest, they're that tight that, to be honest, I don't think it'll leak. So that's the one down there. Um, yeah what I might do like how I had the other one just put a metal cable tie just to keep them up away from the downpipe all right so I took a bit of detour from the hose insulation decided to wrap my downpipe with some insulation um, and I've had this for ages now and ideally you should be doing this whilst it's off the car but ain't nobody got time for that for me right now so I've decided just to do a quick wrap, not too far down, just just after them um, O2 sensors, and uh, call it that, just so it has some heat protection against these um, new hoses. All right, right. So we got day two of our little silicone hose install video. Um, well, last left off, wrapping the downpipe. I've done it up to about just past the oxygen sensors, um, just so can protect some wiring from some heat um, it's not the best of job because it's hard to do it on the car but managed to get most of it done right so back to the silicon hoses I've just cable tied this with a metal cable tie to keep it away from the downpipe and I might do the same with this wire next what I've done I have changed another hose here I think that one's fuel I believe so that was fairly straight forward two little clips on either side. I did end up breaking the original ones, unfortunately. Um, we just dry rot, so that snapped off. But I've got new ones anyway, so that's fine. Next hose I've got is this piece here. Now, I can't see where this goes on the car, to be honest. And the only thing I can see is these coolant hoses. Um, they seem to be roughly same shape and around the corners so i'm just gonna cut it 
um, and fit them there. They just come off of here, these two, and then them two. I can't see anywhere else where it goes, and it, the kit has no instructions, unfortunately. So I think that's my best bet at the moment. So I'm going to do that and show you how it looks. And there you have it, ladies and gents, all completed. I have all the hoses fitted, and it looks very sharp, as you can see for yourself. There we go. Heated matrix. Got two coolants at the back, that's the one I modified. Fuel. Lastly, um, I didn't record this one, but it's fairly simple. This is the fuel pressure regulator. Um, I just changed the hoses I had, which is black, just to red, um, which came with the kit. There we go. Subtle differences make, make, have, make it much better. Uh, now, the only hose I didn't end up using was this one. This is the one that connects to your crankcase filter here. But because I am fitting an oil catch can, which is in a previous video that I will be making, I have no use for that hose, which is fine because I'll be using the stainless braided hose here. I'm just waiting for the other piece of hose to arrive because I'll short. But that is in the next video. All right, guys. Just want to say thanks again for the support, guys. It means a lot to me um, to be able to grow my channel. It is a small channel growing out, so uh, it's hard to stop develop a small channel. But we're getting there. We're doing bits. So there we have it. Until the next one. Peace.